Hey guys, and welcome back to Haunting Ground. When we last left off, we were trapped in this tower, being chased by a incredibly bat-crazy man who is absolutely hell-bent on killing us for fun. Or, well, I mean, I say killing us. That would be probably a luxury um, compared to what he actually wants to do with us, but we're not going to think about that too much. So, we're stuck here in the planetarium, which is actually a really, really, really pretty place. So, uh, let's get to work on this one. Now, every time we stand on a light, another light turns up. So, we need to... Right, okay. It's got to get my controls right with him. So, have you noticed, every time we step off this, that light, the other light disappears. So I'm assuming we need to get Huey to stand on the other light. Like puzzles that we've already done before. Okay. Now I guess we get him to stand. Day. Yes, right, that's it. That's good. Good boy. That's what we want. Um Okay, I was gonna say, although apparently not. Uh so I guess Right, so that one actually stays lit up. Cool. Go on boy. Go on, go on. Do the thing Ah oh, shit, I Okay, either that wasn't the right thing to do, or, what's more likely, I moved off it. You need to stay on the correct pixel. Go on, Huey. Come on, boy. Alright. No. Okay, so we've got to s tell Huey to go on there. Go on, Huey. Go on. Go on. You don't have to sniff snoot your way over. You just got to stand on the thing. Right, now stay. 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 Yes. Now don't move a muscle. Alright. Now I'm hoping this floor is really smooth. Right. Because poor old Fiona and her bare foot. Also, um, I am behind recording videos at the moment. But don't blame me. Blame Bethesda and Microsoft for releasing, oh, and Arcane, actually, for releasing Deathloop, which I am utterly addicted to. Right, go for it, boy. Go for it. Arcane Studios, man. Very happy with that. Maybe I should play Dishonored at some point. Because apparently Dishonored is uh, really good as well. I did play one of them. Uh, ages ago. But I never really stuck with it. For some reason. I don't know why. I can't remember why. Ooh. The planets are aligning. I would say who the hell built this place, but considering this whole area is built around alchemy, I guess it literally could be anyone. Right, let's drop a save. I know we haven't done anything, but, uh, you know, progress is progress. Also, um... We've got the bronze statue, and we have the silver disc as well. Something resembling a star chart has been... I would have thought that that would have some kind of... Uh, something to do with this puzzle here, but I guess not. Anyway, come on, Huey. Let's go. Let us go and advance and explore the great mysteries beyond. Ooh. 
Well, this place looks scraped and scratched up. I don't know why we've got blood on our... Ooh. On our, um... Item of clothing here. On our dressing robe. I don't know what you'd even call that, really. Uh... I've never seen anything like this before. It looks like some kind of diorama or map of the area. Yeah. Can Huey. Go, Huey. Can we get him to jump up there? Is that why he's balking and barking and No. Go, Huey. No. Okay. Nope, maybe not. Um well we got the bronze figurine. Ah sh no? Okay. Choose a location to set the model in. Well, surely there. Uh. Well, it's got to be there, surely. Okay. Choose a location. Oh, look, there's a hole here. Choose a location to set the model in, but <laughs> it doesn't let you set the model anywhere. Right. What do we have? Uh. Right. Oh. Oh, there's like multiple little hidey holes here. Interesting. Well, let's examine this. Small bronze statue of a man. I have no clue as to where it should be used. Well, we kind of know where it should be used. But, yeah, is that all there is? Oh, there, there he is. Why is he up there? Um... Can we, Huey. can we like get him to come back maybe and like go, go up another one of these holes? Is there go, like a Huey. particular hole that he needs to go and hide in? Right. Uh, sure, I guess. Wow, I've never seen anything like this before. It looks like some kind of diorama or map of the area. Alright, well, do we have a map of the area? Not really. I mean, we do, but it doesn't really give us any clues. Okay. So. Can we use the silver disc? Oh! Oh, we can use... So, um, okay, can we like, this wall is in a really bad shape, it looks like it might break if a strong force impacted with its surface. Oh! Okay. Right, well, we broke a section of wall, but why? I hope there's a reason for doing this, is there? Maybe? Because we can't jump down these sections of walls. Okay, so we've made, we've made three holes in the wall. Um, I'm guessing Do we have to get Huey to jump? Come on. Oh shit, I thought he was actually going to go under there Right, so have we tried getting him in that hole? Maybe there is a correct hole that he has to go into Uh, 
Well, that just takes him out here. I'm kind of getting boss vibes here. We've put him in that one, haven't we? Definitely getting boss vibes from this. No. Go, Huey. Come on. All right. Well, I'm also guessing that we're not getting attacked because we're supposed to be doing some kind of puzzle. Ooh. Oh, that made a sound effect. No, he's just up there again. Come on. Okay. So we must have missed something. And uh it would be nice if we could get through a video without my phone going off. That's been Oh yeah. <laughs> I scrapped the beginning of this where my phone went off twice. Uh, anyway, hopefully that's not going to happen a third time. Lots of gossip happening at work. Um, I mean, there's nothing here. Because there has been a few little items. I'm guessing that there's something... Because... We can't put that in that diorama. Or that map. So... We absolutely have to have missed something. But what? Um, I'm, I mean, well, we can move little things around here and reset bridges and whatnot, but that's not really what we want to do. Unless there's something somewhere that we have to get Huey to find for us. In that case, that would be a pain in the ass. That just leads up there. That leads over there to something that we've already grabbed. And I think that just like circles. No, this doesn't actually circle around. Yeah, it just circles around to that so we can move that. But there's no actual point in moving that. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit on a... Shit on a shovel. He um he gets a bit of a move on pretty quick, doesn't he? <laughs> Wait, he came from above us? Well, I mean technically he's invisible, so I will buy his bullshit for now. There's definitely gotta be something back here that we've missed. Uh oh no, we've gotta fiddle with this. Well, I guess if we have to, we have to. I'm just trying to think. Maybe there's a door. Maybe there's an entire door that we've missed somewhere. It doesn't really make an awful lot of sense. But I know how sometimes I'm really not that thorough when I search. And other times I really am. So... Huh. Huh. I mean, at least we can just literally run from him. Like, can we do anything? Can't smash anything there. What about this lamp? Is this lamp a thing? I guess not. So, uh, we've got another... S ah, what was that? Was it? Now, that was um, a fountain that we can drink at, isn't it? I guess we'll drink some more water. Just because. Hey! I mean, they kind of look crumbly, but I guess not. Alright, well. <sighs> there was literally nothing out here at all. We really don't have a lot of options. There has to have been something back down here. I guess. Was that? Oh. Oh. Costumes. You're now able to. Ah, oh, right. You're now able to change costumes. 
Change into alternate costumes that you have attained by searching the chest located in the room. Alright. This outfit that I... Uh, is this the outfit I was wearing whilst in the castle? Should we change back? Probably not a bad idea. Under the scalpel outfit that I just removed is here. Why not, I guess. Okay, so, um, we've actually got a mage's medallion. You know what, let's just roll with it. Whilst we're here. Hey, we got some, some of that. Yeah, I'll do all these off camera, because they take bloody ages. Okay. So, this is this is where we started. Water pipe is rusted badly. I bet even I could break this if I applied a little old-fashioned force to it. Alright. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was not good. What about this one? Can't break that one. Ah, there's more pipes. Yeah. Huh? What's this? A medallion? Okay. Alright, this is all cool and all, but... Like, is there... What's this here? Nothing. Smash this? Nope. There's another thing. You've attained a wooden miniature. What? A small model in the shape of a bridge. I have no... Really? <laughs> it's, it's just hidden in a pipe? Uh, yeah, I mean... Sure, why not? Maybe we have to put the bridge there and then put the model on that. I don't know. Alright, so... Damn, I mean... I wouldn't really have noticed these things anyway because... Ricardo, the dickbag, was chasing us. I did have a thought. A headache with pictures, if you will. That maybe we had to come down here and transmute that thing. With that, but I... Guess not. And that one's locked, isn't it? Alright, so I guess we have what we came for. Make sure all these pipes are broken. Right, okay. I mean, I could understand, like, needing another item to do the thing. But <laughs> having it hidden like that, that's, uh, you know, yeah, go on, we'll save it. I can hear Huey growling. <sighs> right. I can't believe that. No way. Here he comes. Well, we're going to have to charge past him. Oh, wait. He was behind us. That's fine. He can stay behind us. Stay down there like a loser at the bottom of the tower. Whilst we shall ascend to greatness. At least that's the theory, anyway. Maybe we should have put that other outfit back on because, you know, walking along all this rusty metal on with uh, Fiona's bare feet, that probably a recipe for disaster. But, eh, eh, she's a, she's a tough girl, so. Whatever, I guess. Still, though, I can't believe... There was a freaking bridge. Literally a bridge in a pipe. Like, it wasn't even in a box or anything. It was just hidden in a pipe. It's just... Okay. That's that's some actual serious moon logic. 
I'm not even mad, actually. Not even mad. Not even mad. Why am I not mad? Because this game is really bloody cool. And it kind of fits in theme of the just weirdness of this game, to be honest. Right, so now I'm guessing that we can use what we need to up here. Use the bridge. And profit. Okay. I'm assuming this is kind of like a boss area. Right, well. Or maybe not. Oh, right. Okay. Now the mansion is connected. Once more, I guess. Unless we get back into the mansion and fight him. Which could be a possibility. Fiona. Or maybe not. Why must you defy me? Why do you run? Let me into your womb. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah, just <laughs> Yeah, you know. <laughs> Don't no need to be cryptic, dude. Just just no need to hide it or hold anything back. Just as you are. Jesus. Yeah, there'll be none of that. You're literally or not quite literally, but you're kind of my uncle. Right? Let's let that just sink in for a second. All right. Now, I guess with this guy, we've just got to kick the 10 bales of shit out of him. Or unless, maybe, Huey, maybe we've, well, you say that, but, but I have a cunning plan. Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. Go. Go, Huey. Now, oh, that was it. I thought we were gonna have to push him off or something. Well, couldn't have happened to a worse piece of shit. So... Good boy. Good boy. So he literally admitted Good what boy. he wanted there. Um, and like I say, even creepier considering the fact that he's... Although his dad... Our dad was a clone and he was a clone of our dad. But still, that is kind of incest in a way. Right. Come here, boy. Now, can I feed you uh, something yummy? I can. This game really goes places, huh? I mean, Silent Hill 2 did a lot of things, right? And it did do a lot of things. But this is doing some pretty intense things, too. Now, is this game on the same caliber as Silent Hill? Well... No. At least not Silent Hill 2, anyway. Um, no, I, we, actually, Silent Hill 2 predates this anyway, but there's some serious, like, adult themes in this game. Um, that are really pretty crazy for the time. You know, this stuff still wasn't 
you know, concepts of rape and, and that weren't exactly common in games back then. I mean, they're not exactly common now, but I mean, I like it. I, I, I think there's space for these adult themes. It certainly um, adds to the tone of the situation. I definitely do like these uh, kind of like extreme adult themes. It definitely works in this. And it worked in Silent Hill 2 as well. Wow, it worked in all the Silent Hills. Uh, well, <laughs> let's, 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 let's hold up there a minute. It worked in Silent Hill um, 1, 2, and 3. Um, I love those games, Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3. I want to kind of say, like, Silent Hill 1 was my favorite game out of the three. Now, I can't really comment on the others because I never played Downpour, uh, which I did, I do want to. And I did play uh, Homecoming. And from what I can remember of Homecoming, like, it was okay. But I don't really remember much of it at all. We're going to change that in the coming uh, months and years. We're definitely going to change that. Okay. So now we should be able to get out of here. But I've always expressed the fact that I don't like it when you can't fight back. In fact, I hate it when you can't fight back and you've got constant pursuer enemies. But I really think this game gets that balance right. Because you can fight back. It's not recommended. And it will get you killed. But it's a risk versus reward thing. And it helps to make you feel like you're not entirely useless. His limbs are twisted into unnatural positions. It looks so painful. But I guess death really is painful. Death doesn't always have to be painful. And to be fair, if you ask me, that guy kind of got off lightly. He got a lucky fast death. I would have uh, liked to have seen that get drawn out a bit. But, you know, we don't always get what we want. But sometimes we get what we need. The only thing I um, really, really, really don't like uh, with this game. In fact, I'm going to go as far as saying I absolutely hate it. I hate the visual style. I hate the filter that's over the screen. Now that's not exactly, it's not down to the emulator. This weird hazy kind of double vision fog everywhere I, I'm not a fan I hated it the PlayStation 2 used to have a lot of games infused with that where the hell are we now Grand Theft Auto was a big one as well what is life giving water oh let's have some of that Okay. Now that's not to say I think every game should be stuffed with adult themes and you know of course only when it kind of fits the context of what you're what you're playing or what you're trying to tell. So we can go around. Okay, but we can also go down. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know where to go first. Okay. So I guess we're not out of the woods yet. Where does this lead? Apparently it just leads to an empty-ish room some boxes. Caution, extremely flammable. I wonder if there are explosives. 
or the like inside. If whatever is inside is caught on fire, it could be disastrous. Uh, yeah. I don't know where Huey's got to. I think we actually blocked him off upstairs. Oh, here he comes. So, do we need to burn those? Doesn't seem like it would be a great idea. But, hey, Fiona's the boss. And what's down this side? Ooh. Ooh. We've got a save point. And a something. A chamomile. Okay. Got a save point. And you know what? Let's go get dressed back into our other clothes. Certainly doesn't seem to be too comfortable running around in this surgeon's gown or surgery gown, I guess. There we go. Oh! Wait! Wait! Right. Do we not have shoes anymore? Okay. Well, I mean, I don't think this dress is going to be keeping us warm. I was more thinking about being a bit more comfortable for your feet. But I, I guess we have lost our boots. For reasons. Alright, whatever. I wonder if actually we could find them and put them back on. I don't know. Anyway, guys. I guess we're out of time. So we finally escaped Ricardo. The literal... I was going to call him an uncle fucker, but actually it was... He... I... Uh, I guess it would be a niece fucker? Yeah. Yeah. That was weird, man. That was weird. But hey, he's dead. Um, and I, I guess we're not done yet. So, pff, there's still more. Oh, yeah, we got that weird bloke that was trying to help us. Yeah. Help us. Hmm. <laughs> we'll see about that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.